Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go over how to use FancyBot so you can so you guys can complete uh, practical four. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a new um, HTML site here, and I'm just gonna go to File New. Okay, let's go. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to save this HTML file. Let's just save as. <clears throat> and um, I'm creating a new uh, folder. This is going to be a lot easier. So I'm just calling this Practical 4. And I'm going to save this as index.html. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start building my web page here. If I can type correctly. And. Gonna create my head. And empty space for my title. I'm gonna close out my head. Gonna open up my body here. I cannot type today. And close out my body. And I'm going to close out my HTML document. So I have my basic web page. Um, <clears throat> next, um, what I need to do is um, I need to go to Fancy Box. No, I'm sorry. Uh, fancyapps.com slash fancy box. So fancyapps.com slash fancy box. <clears throat> and Go down to where it says download. License and download, so you click that and click download. Version 2.1.5. So I got that. All right. <clears throat> so I am going to go to my downloads. And I'm gonna unzip fancy apps, fancy box, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up and then open up my practical four folder. I just have my index.html here, nothing going on there um, really. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, <clears throat> go ahead and start bringing some assets over. So um, change log lib which stands for library um, source if you just bring all those over <clears throat> and we can clean up our selection and um, let me go back actually I put those files back just by command Z um, just to show you guys what you downloaded. Um, so this is what you get, simple image gallery, um, and everything's working right now. But we're going to move it um, here in just a moment. We're going to do what we just did. Um, so lib, library, and source. Um, we're going to copy those over. And change log, you can put that over there as well. Um, we don't need the sprite or the readme file. Um, and then what we need to do is um, we're going to create a new folder and title this images. And if you just right click and hit clean up selection. And then I go to images here and I'm just going to take all these, um, copy those, paste them in my images folder here. Um, and then I'm going to copy this ajax.txt file. Um, so this is something um, that you need to have for JavaScript. Um, and then your index.html file that they have, if you just open that up, so I'm going to open that up in Coda, 
uh, but you can use Dreamweaver. You can see all the um, elements that they have. And we're going to cut and paste a few things here. So they have all this here, um, these external links to uh, different scripts. So I'm going to go back to my Coda page that doesn't really have anything. And in my head, I'm going to um, start inserting these elements. So I'm just going to change my title here to Fancy Box Demo. And I'm going to paste those. So the same thing going on here with CSS. We're just linking to um, other <coughs> pages. Um, so we're linking to scripts, external scripts. Um, we're not done with those yet, but that's we're going to copy those over. Um, and then we're going to copy this over. This is a um, this is actual internal script. Uh, it's JavaScript. Um, <coughs> I'm not expecting you to know what it is in terms of like what everything is doing. It uses um, a different coding language um, called JavaScript, and it um, is not covered in this class. But what you do learn is how to work with JavaScript um, and how to incorporate it into your website. So the thing to remember about uh, JavaScript is whenever you're using it um, to do something like this on your web page, you want to make sure that you copy um, things over the same way that they do. They put this stuff in the head. Um, you can put these things in the footer sometimes, um, but you want to follow what they do because sometimes the way the program is, things could um, get a little, um, wires could get crossed. So I copied those elements. Um, I don't need this style because that's CSS. We don't need any CSS from these people. Um, but I'm just going to copy this right here. Um, so in the head, it's um, simply, uh, well, no, sorry. I'm just going to copy this paragraph here. Um, so I go here and go down to my body, and I'm going to paste that. All right. Um, and if I hit preview, nothing's working. All right. Um, I get an error. You guys get an error as well. Um, for a couple reasons. We moved some things around and we also reorganized. Um, so our link for our um, images is in our images folder, um, not in the root folder, which it thinks it's in. So I'm just going to do images slash, right? So you always want to put your images in an images folder. It's good organization. Um, and the thing to remember here is it's linking two files, um, a big file and a small file. So the small file is your thumbnail and the big one is the pop-up. Um, different portfolio boxes or light boxes will um, do different cropping methods, but FancyBox um, uses both. But if we go to preview, oops, let's save preview. Oh, I need to go back. Okay, there's my images. but. Um, I click it and it uh, doesn't really pop up like it did on um, the original um, sample. So here's the original example. It's not popping up. It's it's linking, um, but not popping up. Um, and that is because of one key reason. Up here in our external links, um, we have this dot dot lib. Um, dot dot source. So what that does, the dot dot forward slash um, is telling the browser to go up a level um, in the folder directory. So um, it's thinking it's in like the images folder or something like that. Um, and it's saying, hey, the dot dot forward slash forces the browser to go up a level. So to go back to your directory or go up to the last directory. Um, but the thing that you want to remember is um, we are not in a separate, um, we don't need to go up a level because the way we copy this over, they have a demo folder, right? And those contents were out here um, in this element. We don't, we don't need that. Um, so what you have to do, it's really simple, is just delete all those dot dot forward slashes. Um, so there's quite a few, um, but we don't need that. It's an unnecessary step. And you would just learn how to do this over time um, to recognize that that's what that does. 
um, and to get used to working with other people's code. So we just delete all that, we hit save, we're gonna hit preview and it should work. So um, there is our fancy box, um, fully functional. If we go um, back and forth, we can use, we can go scroll up or down and it'll cycle through, um, or scroll to the left or right. It's a little bit buggy as in slow, um, but that's nothing we've done um, today. So if we go back to index, um, I wanted to point out a few things. If you noticed in our preview, if you click on that, that image there, it has some filler text down here. Um, you don't need that necessarily, um, or if you wanted to get rid of it, all you would have to do is just where it says title, delete the title, right? So we'll click it and it's gone. Um, so it's up to you whether or not you want it. I personally don't necessarily see a need for it. So I would just go through and delete all those. But you still want to keep your um, less than brackets. So um, then we go here, click, they're all, they're all gone. Um, <clears throat> nice thing is this is responsive, right? If we um, scale down our web page, it will respond with it. So this page is, this is, um, I can't access that. Um, <clears throat> let's try it, no, I'm trying to access the top part of that um, to minimize it. But this um, goes with the browser window. So if it was a window um, <clears throat> on an iPhone, it would um, shrink down. But what you need to remember is there are two images. Um, so this, if we open up both of these photos in Photoshop here, so go to Photoshop, open that up. We wait for Photoshop. All right. So here are our two images. Um, they're the same image, different file sizes or um, image sizes. So you go to image size, um, 150 by 150 pixels is the thumbnail size. And then your thumbnail or your large photo image size um, is 612 by 612. You can um, make any size for the big image for the photos. Um, you can make them larger than this. You don't have to make them square, right? These are all just Instagram photos. Um, you don't have to you don't have to do that with this. You can make it any size and any, you know, you can make them square, rectangles, circles, whatever. Um, and fancy box is going to respond to that. Um, but you do need to keep these thumbnails the same size unless you feel inspired to dig through some of the code and change it. Um, but that's only if you feel inspired, you are not required to. So here's our page. Um, I'm just going to create an H1 real quick. And I always make some sort of mistake here. Um, and I'm just gonna call this Fancy Box Practical 4. And I'll close that, hit preview. Um, so there's my header and my four images. Um, but what you need to do for Practical 4 um, is you need to take these images, um, all these images right here, and replace them with your own. So thumbnails and large photos. Um, so the big and small photos, you need to replace those um, with yourself and make sure things don't get lost in the linkage. What I would do is just go to File, Place, Place Embedded, um, and place your image right over top of, um, let's see, I'm trying to find something. I don't know what this is. Okay, um, just place it over top. So if you look here, this is a vertical image um, and you don't necessarily want that because it's gonna look weird. We want squares, we need a grid um, unless you're doing a Pinterest type look, which you can't do with this. So I have my image here, 
took this on vacation a while ago, um, and I just kind of scale it up, crop it to where I like it, and I hit that. Um, I don't need that anymore. And then I can just go to uh, File, Save As. You would want to do Command Shift S, um, and you do not need to save this as a PDF. You need to save it as a JPEG. Um, and it says one um, underscore S copy, but you would just do one S, save, and hit replace. Um, I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit refresh. And there's my thumbnail. But the problem is I don't have the large image. So I'm going to go to this photo. Um, and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to increase my canvas here a bit. I just use the crop tool real fast. Uh, I'm going to go to File, Place Embedded. Going to my desktop. I think it was my inbound folder. Yeah. That's a different image. Hold on. Sorry guys. All right, so here's my image. Um, okay, so I'm an idiot. I don't need to, I didn't need to do it vertically like I did when I scaled it. Um, I only needed to make it taller. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger vertically. All right, uh, now I'm going to go to File, Place Embedded. And there's the photo. I'm going to place it. I can scale it because I know it's way bigger than this file size. I'm um, going to delete that. I'm going to go to File, Save. Um, save As, right? So File, Save As, or just do Command, Shift, S. If you want to work smarter, not harder, and then you go to JPEG. Um, so 1B copy dot JPEG and hit save, hit replace, hit OK, and um, I'm going to hit refresh um, in my previewer here. And now my um, fancy box has adapted um, to the correct shape. So you see here, square, vertical, no problem. Um, if I were to open this up in my browser window, which I'm going to do right now. Um, I go here to index.html and click that, and boom, works. And then I scale it down. It's not um, taking too much control. And then if I scale it down to there, it works um, as well. Um, scales it down. And excuse the noises that my old chair is making. So um, there's not like a, a cow in here. So um, anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, let me know if you have any questions, email me, um, and we can go from there. Thank you.